while a project to control flooding in the Red River Valley is a win for homeowners and businesses during times of high water, much effort also went into providing continued recreational opportunities for river users and safe passage for the many fish species. Fargo Diversion is all obviously a very important project to control floods within the Fargo-Moorhead area. One of our major goals was to maintain river connectivity, uh, increase fish passage through these structures, maintain navigation, and really try to enhance recreational opportunities within the Fargo-Moorhead area. One of the main features of the project is the Red River Gate structure, which regulates how much water goes into the metro area. During a flood event, those gates would be closed to gauge how much water would continue through into town. The excess water would then be routed to the diversion and around the Fargo-Moorhead area. Another mitigation feature found miles upstream that came out of this project was construction of rock rapids at Drayton Dam. It eliminated the last major barrier to fish migration on the Red River system. Several hundred acres of trees and wetlands will be restored to replace what was lost during construction. Once the river is rerouted, contractors will build earth berms on each end of the oxbow and start dewatering the project. The Corps of Engineers, North Dakota Game and Fish Department, Minnesota DNR, will go in and try to salvage any fish and mussels that are still existing today and there prior to them filling that oxbow with earthen material. Uh, those, the fish and the mussels will be relocated back into the riverine system in adequate habitat or with other existing mussel beds. Ongoing studies will continue to determine fish use in those areas. This is Mike Anderson in the North Dakota Outdoors.